So is this a bit why children play video games also? Is yes. that without the meditation yes. tools, they're just desperate for a way to release resistance? Well, yes and no, mostly no, in that children haven't specifically activated as much negative stuff as their parents have. So they're not mm. escaping. They like video games. <laughs> they like them. They like the, uh, the, they like their minds moving fast. They like the, they like the vivid colors. They, they enjoy the sound effects. They, they enjoy the progress. Many of those games sort of mimic life in general. They like their feeling of evolution. They like knowing that they're better at something today than they were the day before. Mm -hmm. They're like being ready for something because now they're sort of prepared for it. In other words, they, they were born cable ready in ways that their parents were not, you see. And so don't assume that it's escapism with them. And we are really looking forward to the time that you are playing a delightful game for the fun of it, rather than to escape from something less delightful. In other words, you're really going to start noticing how delicious life can be when you leave behind all of those feelings of what I should be doing and what I ought to be doing and what I need to be doing and start replacing them with what I'm craving, what I'm delighted to do, what I feel like doing, you see. And so maybe we need to let children choose how much time they spend with that just as we should feel our way through. If I'm in a game of Sally Spa and I, I get to a certain level, I know when to stop, those kinds of things. Just feel it from within when it's time to stop because I think that's a, a hard time with a lot of children that we've had as patients is that they don't know when to stop and they get obsessive with the games. Well, the thing that's tricky about this is that it's what we were talking about just a minute ago, that so many people are comparing their experience to the experiences of other people, which we want to call irrelevant rather than to way, the way they feel vibrationally in relationship with the way they feel in their vortex. And so rather than trying to control the behavior in order to affect emotion, instead try to affect emotion in order to encourage behavior. Mm -hmm. And it's an entirely different thing. Mm -hmm. In other words, when, mm -hmm. when you are high on life, there are a lot of things that, that match that feeling that you will be called to. When you're really tuned into who you are, you'll be called out on the deck to look out. You'll, yeah. you'll look right as the dolphin jumps. When you are high on life, you'll rendezvous with the rainbow and you'll turn the radio on when your favorite song is playing. When you're high on life, a whole lot of things will rendezvous with you. It won't just be the video games, you see. But if you have parents or other adults who are scrutinizing you and acknowledging or coming to their determination that you are inappropriate, so every time you play the game, you're sneaking away to play it because there is a, a sort of overhanging of resentment or negative thought a around it. So you begin feel guilt, feeling guilty mm -hmm. and like you shouldn't be doing it. Then you're being trained away from your vortex and it's more likely that you'll do more of that because now it's escapism rather mm -hmm. than wantism, isn't it? Yes. Perfect. So what do you want to, what you want to say to your children? You want to say through the demonstration of your own behavior. In other words, don't try to teach them through your words. It, it's like when you leave this ship, w one of the things that Jerry and Esther have been hearing as they're interacting with different staff from the ship and, and uh, people who are interacting with you, when you leave this ship, they will not be speaking of you while you are among the most prosperous of those who they meet with on a regular basis, they won't be talking about your prosperity. While, while you are some of the most interesting mix of people that is ever on board a ship, they will be not be talking about how interesting you are. They are talking about how happy you are. That's the impression that you're leaving. They're talking about how happy you are, how joyful you seem, how nice that is, how unusual that is. Jerry and Esther have been told that they haven't met up, the, the ship has not met up with people this happy for about a year ago when you were their group on another excursion. In other words, that's, that's, what, you, that's what you're being known for, you see. You're, you are setting the example, you're leaving the impression through your emotional presentation, not through your intellectual, not through your financial, not through your 
credentialed you're leaving the impression through your vibrational emotional because they can sense because they wanted to they can sense your relationship with who you are and we're not saying you're all flying high every minute of it but as in a general sense that's who you are the edge is off of you in a way it isn't off of most people and it will continue to come off and it will continue to come off until your children will feel free and happy to be themselves in front of you because they won't be hiding what they want to do for fear that your judgment of them will will diminish them or diminish yourself in some way you see fabulous thank you so yes. much yes. feels good to feel good doesn't it second row <laughs>